Hi everyone, Yvonne Lorcan here. Welcome to What's Your Wine Wednesday. Now today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to do a food match with da -da, the lovely and not humble Anzac Biscuit. Now I say not humble because these things are a magical melange of rolled oats and um, coconut, what else is in there? Golden syrup and brown sugar. They are brilliant and they are so great with wine. And we're going to talk about three wines that will go with these biscuits in a minute. Um, we're celebrating, well, commemorating um, the Anzacs this coming weekend. And we're going to be doing it in our bubbles for the first time ever. And that's going to be interesting. So what were the Anzacs? The Australia New Zealand Army Corps. So they were a group of soldiers that um, fought for the British Empire um, in a very controversial, ill-fated battle of Gallipoli in 1915 and um, about eight and a half thousand Australian soldiers died, 2,700, 2,800 uh, New Zealand soldiers died. Terrible thing. Um, terrible thing. But what were they fighting for? Well, they were fighting for the British Empire. They were hoping to capture the Dardanelles and form a sea route to the Bosphorus and the Black Sea. So there we go, a little bit of a history lesson for you. Now, when we're thinking about wine to go with our Anzac biscuit, the first thing that sprung to my mind was Gewürztraminer. And I have a great one here. This is from Askern Wines in Hawke's Bay. They make fantastic Gewürztraminer. Just going to pour a little glass there. And I thought of it because Gewürztraminer has these lovely kind of gingery notes. Ginger, Turkish Delight, um, lots of spice in there. And when I'm, when I'm enjoying an Anzac biscuit, they're spicy. They're nicey. They're just gorgeous. So, yum. Bite into your I love that coconutty character. The golden syrup notes. Having a sip. Mmm. Of the Gewürz. And the cool thing is, you get the ginger and the spice. There's lychee in there, as you expect, as you want in Gewürz. But it's got great acidity as well. So it kind of freshens up the biscuit. Right, you can eat a ton of these with a glass of Gewürztraminer in your hand. So yeah, if you want Gewürztraminer from Askern, just go to their website, askernwines.co.nz. Um, brilliant, great. Now, let's look at our, with the Anzac spirit in mind, let's look at our Australian wine. And I have chosen a wonderful sparkling wine from Brown Brothers. Now, this is their Prosecco. Now, Prosecco sounds a tad Italian, because it is, but Brown Brothers in Victoria... Um, have been making Prosecco for ages and they always do a good job. So this is from their King Valley grown grapes and um, I think people assume Prosecco uh, is going to be sweet all the time and it's so not. This one, oh my goodness, I love the aromas of like pear and apple and peach but they're not sweet aromas, they're just like the, the kind of floral scent of the of those trees in blossom you know yum mm. and dry and spicy and clean and beautiful so the sweetness of the biscuit sorry for crumbing everywhere the sweetness of the biscuit actually kind of gives the wine some great fullness more fullness i should say mm. kind of the appley notes in the wine work really really well with the kind of gingery honeyed oaty notes in the biscuit yeah love that combination that really rocks so brown brothers prosecco very good pick that up at the supermarket um 15 bucks thereabouts i think um the gewurztraminer Sorry, I should have said, this is about $22 on their website. Um, so go and check them out now. Just between you and me. Just between you and me and the tripod. If you are more of a, um, let's say, a late afternoon biscuit muncher. Um, if you're more of a, um, yeah, after business hours, biscuit appreciator, um, you might like to think think about trying something just a tad more luxurious shall we say um maybe a teensy bit more naughty well i shouldn't say naughty because it's not the right word um let's just say a little bit more alcoholic um now 
which is not necessarily a bad thing in moderation. So here we go. This is a new one. This is a port by Linden Estate in Hawke's Bay. Now they make this port out of Pinot Noir grapes grown in the Esk Valley. Just going to give a little pour there. And wow, wow, wow. As soon as I poured that, this waft of like um, Christmas cake mixture and mixed peel and currants and caramel just literally leap out of the glass and man oh man is this the most amazing thing to have with Anzac biscuits mm, yeah mm -mm -mm. always a good thing to suck a bit of air in when you're taking your bite of your Anzac so you don't drop oaty coconutty crumbs all down your front I should have done that Mm. Oh, wow, yum, port, port and Anzac biscuits, perfect match, really good, so port, Anzac biscuits, Prosecco, Anzac biscuits, and give it its Tremina and Anzac biscuits, so there we go, excellent, so to you, and to you New Zealanders and you Australians, let's um, shake hands across the Tasman from our bubbles, virtual, virtual handshakes, because um, we love you and we hope you love us back. And I want everyone to stay safe, lockdown only has a few days to go, hopefully. All right, see you later guys, bye.